Business Central was designed and intended to be modified. So from the very beginning, um, the way that Business Central was developed facilitated uh, the ability for people to make changes to the application. Okay, so that's really a key difference uh, between some other applications that I've worked with. So other, other applications have been developed and then they allowed modifications. The whole philosophy of Business Central was allowing modifications from the very beginning and then they built out the application. So again, always been the intention to allow modifications to the system. The other thing to note is that Microsoft with Business Central, their intention was never to build out 100% of the functionality that every single organization could potentially need. That was never their intention. Their intention was to build out a, a, a base set of functionality and then allow for the extension of the application. Okay, the customization of the application. Just wanna set the groundwork for that. So let's talk a little bit about extensions. Extensions can be developed by uh, client-based teams. So using Visual Studio, you can create extensions, deploy them into your environment. So an extension that a client could de to develop on their own could be adding custom columns to existing tables, creating new pages, new, new um, sets of data completely if you wanted to, new reports, uh, new areas of functionality, okay? so. Uh, as an end user of the application, you have the ability to do that. You can leverage a partner like Stoneridge. We can create extensions for you as well. So doing that same uh, level of functionality, we can create extensions. And then we also have the ability to access the extension marketplace. And um, uh, what Microsoft done, has done is they've allowed partners to develop applications. Uh, once you've developed the application, you submit it to Microsoft for review and approval. Once Microsoft has reviewed and approved it, it's then available in AppSource. Okay, so I'm using the App Store. So just pointing out, I filtered the App Store currently based on business, business central applications. And there are currently 1,074 apps that are available for download uh, as extensions into Business Central. So again, Microsoft's intention from the very beginning, allow the system to be uh, extended by, by end users as well as partners, and then um, uh, preserving your upgrade path. And again, not not providing 100% of the full functionality of the ERP system that you potentially would need. So what you're seeing out here are point solutions for very specific applications maybe. So Canadian payroll, for example. Um, Sound of Commerce is the ability to leverage a fully functional storefront that's 100% integrated on the back end of Business Central. So I have the ability to publish um, descriptions, items, pricings, et cetera, to a storefront. Sonic Commerce can provide that. Charge Logic Payments is the way to process credit cards within Business Central. The beauty behind this is uh, Charge Logic maintains all the credit card stuff for you. They remain uh, maintain the connector back to your card providers, uh, and they keep you PCI compliant. Okay, so that's the beauty of an app like that. Uh, LS Express. So this is a, a fully functional point of sale application, allowing um, Business Central to be a, a full POS solution. So you get the point. Some very uh, specific point solutions that are available then within Business Central to extend the application. I'm gonna say all of my clients uh, in Business Central have had some level of customization, extensions developed. So some clients have developed them. Uh, we as a partner have developed them and some of them have downloaded apps. Not everybody has downloaded an app off the marketplace. You know, there's free ones out here. Uh, so for example, there's uh, language packs. So if you have um, Spanish speaking, French, German, uh, Japanese, Mandarin, Chinese, Korean, uh, all those language packs are available for download to Business Central. Some of them there's a fee and some of them there's not. So a whole variety of solutions that are available, uh, again, through the marketplace. The beauty of the extensions is I can manage them within, app, within Business Central. So if I come in here to extensions, what you're gonna see is the list of extensions. You notice that Microsoft even uh, creates extensions and deploys into the application as well. So uh, extensions could be downloaded. They again, could be uh, set up by the, the publisher um, off the marketplace. They could be done by your partner or you can do them yourself. So for example, this happens to be an extension that I created and, and published in my system. So facility to manage extensions, deploy them, uninstall them, et cetera, uh, through the user interface of the application.